Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Tato, look at those two blatant pictures of a bird's chest. Tato World Grand Prix, running on MAME. It's an arcade machine released in 1989 by, well, Tato. It's a motorbike racing game. Now, if you look at the title when it stops spinning, uh, I knew nothing about this game. It's called Real Race Feeling. The actual arcade game, from what I can understand, because I could only find pictures of the cabinet, was, you know, had some, like, fancy motion controls. And obviously that's replicated by the you know by the screen layout where you're well you're not in car you're you're on bike if you know what I mean. So yeah, 1989 uh, the world was alight with sprite scalers. Tato had done a few at this point, notably Chase HQ. Um, this is a different approach because well there were you know like Radmobile by Sega. Um, was it Radmobile or Rad Racer? I can't remember. And then there was that one by was it Konami GT? They were in car ones, but everyone seemed to go for the out car thing. So this is kind of something different, something new. Let's put some money in. Wow. Okay. So it's Britney Spears. Ten years before anyone knew who Britney Spears was, and based on that god awful picture, all I can say is. I guess she's from Brazil, right? So that's four credits. Uh, now it had motion controls in the arcade. I'm playing it on an Xbox pad, so I've got right trigger accelerate, left trigger brake. That's it. Right. So you've got normal full speed, 150. Uh, how would you do normal? Was there? Um, did it have actual like gears, like a bike? What was it one up, one down is neutral, then three down after that, four down? I don't know. It's been ages since I've ridden a bike. Not raining, I guess they're just really pale and burn easily. Right, oh, that's nice. Right, sweet. There's a nice sensation of speed. Oh, stay on the road. Soundtrack slows you down. Position at the top. Lap top right. Fuck. Bollocks. That's what I get for looking up the top. Best lap, second lap, third lap. So it's a third lap race. Right. Now, it's laps, that's the important thing, but I always find that weird because while it's a sprite scaler, you're going around the same course. But because it's a sprite scaler, it just doesn't feel like that. Right. Oh, fuck. Can I hit the other bikes? That dude looks like the bloke from my iRobot. Oh, that's either hay bales or shredded wheat on the side of the track. 8 out of 20. It is, oh, fucking hell, a nice sensation of speed. It's a little bit too much. I think the problem here is because of the view, and the fact that the road, because of the view, you know, the view is big and the road is narrow. It, I don't know. It feels like you're you're calling up to the extreme, almost like you're one of those bikes from Tron. Oh, let's get back on the road. Now, from what I can tell, the warning means that the rider going to overtake you on the left or the right. I haven't actually used the brake yet. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Ah, uh, brakes are pussies. Oh, did I hit him? Imagine road rage like this. Road rash, sorry. Ooh, angry wasps. Ooh, yeah, it's a bit, I don't know. It feels a little bit kind of hit or miss. But again, because of the, you know, the crampness of the view. I mean, maybe that's uh, playing it on a home TV sort of thing, or not playing with the actual controller. This is terrible. Final lap, shit. Right. Ah, 80s-tastic music. Maybe I should start braking. Only on the extreme corners. That's how I roll in real life. Right, I broke, I broke, broke. I used the brake then. A little bit of tearing in the background. Looks like the left sort of uh, sandbank isn't actually joined to the floor. Hey, I took him out. Did you see that? You can take him out. Not, well, you know, like an attack command, but fuck it. Bollocks, he won. He's second. Oh, Scheisenbergers. He's facing the other way, you fucking crazy bastard. i got air brakes, see? None of them have. That line at the top, by the way, that I guess that's the indication of the pack. So you can lap people then. Oh, dear God. Look at the bloke on the right. That's positively creepy. 
And why does the bloke on the left look like Jackie Chan? Sorry, Jackie Chan. Right, round two. Oh, so we're carrying on. Uh, round two, Japan. So it's obviously going to go around the globe, isn't it? I'm just going to hold it down. Basically, we're doing the same. You can't steer, that's a nice touch. You can't steer because you've left the line with such brute force that you're doing a wheelie. Oh shit, look! The road's even more cramped. No wonder they got such, ah, see you later bits. No wonder they got such congestion in Japan with roads this small. Ooh, it's not the smoothest of sprite scaling. In fact, maybe it's the view making everything big, but I would say Chase HQ is a far better looking game. And what's that? 88, 87. Oh, what's the other one they did? Was it Top Speed? The highly imaginatively titled Top Speed. That was a car chaser as well, obviously. That's completely irrelevant to me playing this. Oh, right, so braking seems to be the future. Oh. Yep, I even could get away braking in the sand trap there. If anyone else did actually see this, or was it like an exclusive thing? I can't remember what it said at the start. If you were playing this game in the following countries, shame on you, you bastard scream. But, you know, did anyone see this in their neck of the woods back in the day? If so, you know, was it just a hydraulic cabinet? Because that's the only one I could find pictures of. Or was there like a, a stand-up hang on thing-esque one? That was the worst sentence ever. That is, I gotta say, fuck it. That's, I gotta stop saying I gotta say, because that's when I fuck things up. Oh, I've got a nice lead though, but yeah, the speed there, it's quite tasty. I mean, there are better games of this age as well, that are bike racing. I would say Super Hang On is better. Was that 89? Oh, Hang On 1 was better. Oh, oh Hang On Junior was better. No, actually, that's going too far. Ooh! Actually, there is a kind of feel of laps to it, you know, like left, right, left then. It's just it's so in your face, it's like you can't really sort of get a feel for memorising it anyway, if you know what I mean. It's just like, what's that on the background? Slap! It's in my face! Oh. Ooh! That tr Ooh! Fucking hell! Look how oh shit, that's what I get for... Look, I was going to say, look how far ahead I am! Can he still do it? Can he still snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? Oh, it's making my eyes hurt. It's rushing in my skull so fast. Oi, 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 oi. I've got to stop looking at the top. I can't. It's calling me. Fuck you. Why don't I die when I do that? I don't care. Man, air brakes. Look, look, I stopped at 255 kilometers an hour. That's mad skill, is that? Right, let's see what the next track, next track is. There's still three gurning bastards. Look, the, the Tato is done on the style of the Ford um, badge, but Michelin is actually a real sponsor. I guess they couldn't afford Ford. Australia, don't come off your bike too much shit in the bush at kill you. Three ladies are well travelled there. Okay, it's much the sh same, isn't it? Well, there you go. It's not going to win any awards, you know. Even at the time, it's. I mean, like I said, maybe the motion controls made it amazing, but even at the time, it was. Um, it was against much better or very stiff competition. But it's interesting, if only because it's first person. So anyway, yeah. Uh, Tail World Grand Prix. And um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.